All right. Hey there, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna say that cringy intro again. I'm not gonna try to. <laughs> but still, it's your boy Chen Yasin One, and uh, today uh, I just wanted to, you know, show you guys a little bit about my game, some some, some stuff about my game. A new update, some improvements I've brought along, and it's, it's nothing much really. It's uh, just you know a little bit of improvement. That's all. And well, uh, I was I was supposed to bring like a lot of more improvements in, in the meantime. Like I was, you know, I, I planned that I would implement uh, the the site system for the enemies and the patch rolling system and switching stat states so that like there could there could be enemies patrolling areas and uh, there could be uh, enemies who can actually see you, hear you, search for you if you there, and then you know based on like for example, they just saw you or heard you, then they would just become alert, okay. But not because they heard you, but mostly because they saw you. Because I don't think so. If you if you hear something, you most likely will ignore it. That's, that's what I had in mind. And actually, I achieved a lot of it, but unfortunately, uh, something happened. I mean, I uh, I lost my project. Not my project exactly, but the enemy script only. My PC crashed, and unfortunately, a lot happened. And as you can see, the, the skybox, for some for some reason, is no longer working. I'm guessing it's the shader issue, as you can see. So it's very, very... And um, stuff like that happened. So a lot happened, and I managed to recover my... AI script from my last build, which was actually from real quite quite long ago, <clears throat> not quite long ago, but still you know, pretty much a month ago because I, you know, rested and took long intervals when, while working on this project. So, so I managed to break it down, decompile it, uh, fix it a little bit, and now I well now it's still not really like I still lost the enemies attacking pattern thingy. But it's it's kind of halfway working. So, so yeah, uh, let's. I'm gonna just kind of get right to the point. So first, I'll like to show you some of the stuff I've been working on. So here uh, we have the player, and uh, never mind the texture. I know it's horrible. It's terrifyingly horrible. I just I, I was just bored, so I just uh, play around with the textures, and I just put up some rough texture over him and stuff like that. And basically, uh, a, a bit of a colored sword. And I know the swords are different. The holster and the drawing sword are they're completely different. <laughs> I was just too lazy to fix that. And so basically, uh, the player has a health bar now. As you can see, that red thingy is the health bar, and the greenish thingy is uh, uh, supposed to be what you, what you can call stamina. So. Basically, the, I, I changed the camera a little bit, and I changed the, the way the player moves a little bit. Okay, it doesn't exactly rotate towards uh, the camera instant, instantly and stuff. And um, there are some camera changes again. I fixed the dodging, so made it more responsive and based uh, relative to the player. So before it was like if the player was looking here, okay, he's moving to the left, all right. Um, Basically, it was relative to the camera only, not to the player's own direction. So if I were to dodge at this point, I would I would move I would dodge towards the camera, which is towards myself, towards where I'm sitting right now, okay, towards the screen. So that would be pretty much messed up. So I fixed that. Now it's, it dodges relatively to the camera and the player, and yeah, pretty uh, neat. So yeah, as you can see, I'm able to dodge uh, pretty much everywhere and stuff. And then, uh, as you can see, while dodging, there's a little bit of camera zoom out. That's one thing. Then there's a uh, when when you attack, there's a camera zoom in. And the same goes for when you parry any move or something. And uh, what else? Uh, I, I kind of fixed. Uh, you know, I I took out this part, which was uh, moving without the sword. I kind of fixed that as well. Uh, um, I'm still planning on fixing it further, you know, using um, interrupts and such, you know, animator interrupts and stuff, such. So I hope uh, that would do the trick. And uh, so yeah, that's that's one thing. You know, based on uh, different angles and moves. 
And uh, yeah, again, I was. <laughs> right, so let's give it a try with uh, the actual enemy. And also, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop cheating because I've set my health to I think 10k. As you can see, my health is no a, a thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna reduce it to a hundred. It's not cheat. Now let's gonna go ahead and see how it works. So here we go. All right. Uh. Okay. Wait. Oh, give me a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> And you see, there's there's still some issues with the player. You might you might have noticed that it was moving a bit weird. And uh, yeah, I'm still working on it. I know how I can fix that. But, you know, minor issues and stuff. And just so now the enemy actually retreats. Uh, if he if he comes too close to you, he moves back. And he is pretty much trying to figure out where to move. And as you can see, he is differently. He's moving differently. He's moving uh, pretty randomly uh, around the area. And I, I still haven't managed to fix the uh, delay when when there is the parry animation. I'm sorry, I'm still working on it. <clears throat> I, I added a new combo, however. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm not I'm not, I'm not dying right now. Nope, I'm not dying. Nope. <laughs> this is the new combo, mate. Love it. I just love killing him with this combo. I got him already. Too bad. But yeah, it's basically based on uh, angles again, so if I press the circle, we do the right slash. If I press the square, we do the left slash. But if I combine the circle and square quick enough, we do this. Which is sort of a left slash as well, but it's more like throwing your sword away. And then there's, um, there's this. If you combine uh, right, left slash, right and left slash with downward slash which is supposed to be a downward slash instead of going downwards it actually does it forward give me a second okay sorry so uh, basically it's uh, if you combine the right slash with the left slash with the downward slash uh, so basically instead of doing it downwards he does it forward he does a back trick which is like this right left and down and wait I wasn't sorry not downward only you need to say right left and while moving backwards, you need to press the downward slash. It's kind of a, you know, complex comp. Not too complex once you get a hang of it. So, right, left, back, and downward. There we go. Right, okay, left, back, and down. There we go. <laughs> and uh, I think that's about it. That's not. That's not much, but yeah, it's about it. And I, I know the UI sucks. I'm still fixing on. I'm still working on it. And let me just kind of go ahead and see if I can have multiple enemies here and see how they would react. Okay. So we have two enemies right there, and I'm, 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 I'm sure it will be a pain. As you can see, they're just moving around randomly. Okay, I, I don't know how I'm... Uh, oh, okay, shite. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm horrible at this. Also, there's an issue. Still, I'm working on that, and that's um, that if the enemy is not close enough, you know, at, at some point, okay, I died seriously. And by the way, the health is not zero yet. I know, it, it, you know, the moment we die, our uh, health stops updating. So that's why one of the reasons why it's, it it wasn't able to just disappear completely. And um, if you guys have any ideas on how we can improve the UI, then please do tell me because I'm, I'm like pretty much suffering from the UI stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix the enemies. They are crazy. I mean, I'm gonna. Th there is no attack delay, literally. Okay, so they're like attacking con continuously, and they move back. They they, you know, they attack you. They, they move back, then they attack you again and then they repeat and sometimes they back off with the jumping uh, backwards or dodging backwards animation those are one things okay not one things no those are, those are those are the things that i wanted to show you guys and other than that there hasn't been really much improvement as i said so i was working on the site system and i lost it and well now i'm starting to make the backup I'm starting to keep backups of my files and Git and such stuff like that because uh, I think it's a good thing and and I'm, I'm I'm possibly I should create backups for my files on uh, you know a Dropbox or such uh, and honestly I'm not really experienced with such stuff so if you guys have any ideas 
suggestions where I should keep back of my files and please do let me know because I don't want to lose my project okay I, I don't want to lose any files it's I work quite hard in this and again I haven't been, been getting much time you know the, the daily routine the uh, what can I say you know busy days <laughs> I don't know but uh, yeah that's about it and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll be working more on this and maybe some basic art stuff uh, I would love if someone could make art because <laughs> I suck at 3d and I, I can roughly make things roughly okay like I had that one if, if you might check out my Debian art I was able to uh, make rough corridor ish thingy a door and stuff but well it was thanks to um, substance painter the texturing itself that it looked that it actually had some uh, feel to it that it actually looked like wood it actually was reflective stuff like that so yeah uh, that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, what do you call it <laughs> watch out for more or keep an eye out for more yeah so see you guys peace out